Hello, I've finally got round to it. I've been meaning to post a Blender tutorial for ages. I've decided to go ahead and make it about my favorite feature, currently my favorite feature, although I discover so many new things about Blender every day that um, I'm sure that will change soon. I'm talking about the Grease Pencil tool. Uh, it was a bit of a head scratcher for me for a while, I'll be honest. I couldn't figure out the most basic functionality of it, so I will just keep this very brief and show you what I've discovered. First of all, um, here I am in more or less the default scene. Um, I'll def delete this cube, I won't need it. By pressing X, Shift A to get my add menu up, I'll go across the plane. I'm going to rotate that in the, let's see, if I go into orthographic view by pressing numpad 5 and then numpad 1 to go into my front orthographic view. So I'll rotate 90 degrees in the X, R, X, 90. I'll scale that up, so let's say 20 times, so I've got plenty of room to work with. Okay, so you can see here, top right of my screen in this properties menu, which I get to by holding, uh, by pressing the N key, N for November. I've got this grease pencil layer tab here. If I press control and click that arrow, I'll just get that menu visible. At the moment, not much to see because we haven't got any grease pencil lines drawn yet. I'll go across to this transform, um, uh, this tool panel, sorry, by pressing T if it's not already open. And scroll down to this tab here because of the lack of room on my screen. We can just see the word grease. I'll click on grease. There are certain options here which I will click so that I can draw easily. First of all, I'm going to click on continuous draw. And I'm going to also click on this surface tab here. I'll explain why in a minute. I'm going to switch over now from my mouse to my Wacom tablet. I'm going to hold down the D key and start painting. Okay, if I zoom out now. Once I've escaped from my grease pencil tool by pressing escape, I zoom out. Let's have a look at what's happened. Orbiting around there, you can see that that grease pencil line has been drawn on that surface, as we would expect from having checked this surface tab just over here. The continuous draw option that enables this kind of thing. Now I'm going to click and hold the D key to start my drawing, my uh, grease pencil. That's enabled the brush there, you can see. I've now let go, I've now taken my pen off my tablet. As I put it back down, I'm still in grease pencil mode. If I unclick that, Again, repeat that. I'll hold down D, start pressing on my Wacom, release, and now I'm already out of grease pencil mode. So that's why I press continuous draw. It just means that I can lift the pen off my tablet, and when I put it back down again, I'll still be in grease pencil mode. Okay, and the quickest way to get rid of all of this is for me simply to delete this entire layer. Okay, I'm pressing that minus sign there. Okay, in a minute I'm going to hide my tool panel by pressing T, hide my properties panel by pressing N, and give myself a little bit more room to work in. Shift S cursor to center to get the 3D cursor to the middle of the scene again. 
Okay, so now if I want to draw, once again, press D, hold it down. I just have to open that once more because I did D uncheck continuous drawing. Back again in the viewport, I'll press D, carry on with this drawing. Okay. Now, when I first began using Grease Pencil, it drove me mad that I could see a fill here, but it wasn't appearing here. And that was just to do with this little tab underneath, which just controls the opacity. Of course, I haven't filled these. Um, this is not a continuous set of lines. There are these gaps here, so the fill um, obviously has that big gap in the middle. The way that I used to work when I was working as an illustrator um, was in either Photoshop or Illustrator, I'd work in layers. I may scan a drawing in and, and then color underneath, or I would draw my lines on one layer and then build up color on subsequent layers. And I can do that in Blender and Grease Pencil by clicking here on this plus sign. And I can also give myself more options, say here, I've drawn this little cloud. What if I want um, a different color scheme? I can just click here on this color palette um, menu, click a plus, did it one too many times there. I'm going to double click on this, call this uh, fill, let's say. I'll call this line. Okay. So now, on this next layer, let's call this fill as well to correspond. I'm going to adjust my settings for this little, uh, I don't know what you would call it, this, this little sub palette. Uh, which has a stroke and a fill associated with it. I'm going to turn the opacity of the stroke right down and the opacity of the fill right up. So now, going back into the viewport, I'll hold D just to make sure I'm in the tool. And I'm going to try and trace around the shape of this cloud here. And then I will release. Okay. So you notice a couple of things. You couldn't see a preview of what the outline would be. And the other thing is that uh, counterintuitively, this layer appears to be, and this layer stack here, below that layer. In fact, this is more to do with order of operations. It's, I, su I suppose it's, a programmer's mindset. What was the last thing which was applied? What was the last tool that was applied? That would be further down in the program. It's analogous to the way that deformers um, are applied in Blender. That got me at first. So the further up in the stack these layers are, the further back they are in your drawing. All right, so now we've got a fill, we've got this outline. I think I'm gonna jump back into this outline here. And I'm going to switch back to my original color palette, if you want to call it that. I'll just zoom in a little bit here. Hold down the D key once again, and I can continue to draw. And that is pretty much the basics of how you could use Grease Pencil in Blender. There are tons and tons more options and tons and tons more things you can do. I'm going to cover those in some upcoming tutorials. For now, that will be it. Just want to round out this tutorial by explaining why I drew this um, plane here in the first place. If I select that 
uh, as I have done here, you can see the blue outline selection. It might be orange on your machine. And press H to hide. You can see that we have this lovely flat drawing. That can be, of course, super useful. You could populate an entire 3D scene with these drawings. You've got camera moves, etc., etc. But all that is to come in some upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching.